are you one of those individuals that want to run macOS as a VM on parallels on their Mac machine, whether they want to test the products uh, before they upgrade in my situation or for fun, or maybe they want to run different virtual machines, also Mac included, uh, through parallels, but they're having issues installing that because uh, you are running on, let's say, M1, M2, M3, M4, that's Mac Silicon machine, because for Intel, it's very easy to get that sorted out. I'm going to walk us through exactly how you can sort this out. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Are you one of those people that want to run macOS on their Mac as a virtual machine through parallels uh, for work or maybe for fun? I used to be, I used to be, oh, but I was able to solve my own situation anyway, and I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. On Parallels uh, website, they have an article that explains how to install macOS virtual machine on a Mac with Apple Silicon, that's M1, M2, M3, M4. Because for Intel, it's very easy to run that through. But this article explains how you can do that through parallels when you have that installed. And in this situation, you might actually want to install a different version of Mac because through parallels, you really have to install the same version that you have on your machine. Okay. Uh, that's in a situation where you probably have uh, a different version. Let's say you want to test run Sequoia, but you have other versions installed. Maybe Ventura, for example, installed or, or Tsunami installed on your uh, Mac machine. Okay. So this particular article is very simple. If you want to install this, I already have a Mac OS installed on my machine. So what is this? When you have Marius open, you click on the plus sign it loads up uh, the free systems that you can install now you click on this mac os download you have other options that you can of course install but in this situation we're talking about the mac so you click on mac or download mac os and continue so this downloads the version of mac that you have on your system in this case you see that i have mac os 14 0 installed okay that's why it's actually going to download exactly what you have installed but in case where you want to test run a different version of mac and in my case i wanted to test run the sequoia before i install that you will need to go through on that route because this will just install exactly what you have in the system and of course it's heavy it's 14 points this because it's going to download from the apple server for it to install for you okay so you go back we are not going to go through this route even on the apple website they have a they have an article where they explain running mac os in virtual machine on apple silicon which has a lot of as a non-developer how do i understand this but don't worry, I'm going to explain it to you to make it simple for you. Because, of course, there are developers that are probably will be watching this video that can understand this, but there are non developers that need something simple and straight to the point. I'm going to explain that to us also. You need to have two different files downloaded to set up this. Okay, the first one is the IPWS version for the particular Mac model, you, uh, the Mac OS you want to install in this case i'm going to use sequoia for this and you have two different options of setting this up the official one that apple recommends or apple explained rather is for you to download this as an update and then you install it now going through this route will still not be successful because you downloads as an update and then you extract and install and you get an error message because you don't have the exact version of what you are trying to install on vm okay so what you need to do is to head on to the developer's website of course you need to sign up as a developer for this okay head on to the developer's website and down to the mac os version that you want if it's the better version or the stable version 
and there is a stable version here so you need to download uh, the image restore or for that okay once you have that downloaded depending on the fashion you want downloaded that's up to you once you have that downloaded uh you you extract so in this case i have two different versions downloaded one is the better version one is the stable version so depending on the one you want downloaded you head back to your parallels and click on the plus sign just like we did before now instead of just clicking on the download for this you click on the install uh, windows linux or mac os from an image because you have it already in your system okay so you click on that click on continue now it automatically scans your device or your machine to get exactly the uh, image files that you have on there now i like i said i have two different image browsers. i also have one for windows 11 which i'm running as a vm here the ubuntu i downloaded that straight from the website that's why it's not on here so you choose the one that you want in this case let's still go through the stable because the stable the difference between the stable for you to understand that, that the better versions have a b c or whatever after the numbers i think the stable one doesn't so let's say you click on continue you select you set up whatever you want to set up and then you create now when you're done creating uh it shows up like this but you can't run it so when you try running it you get another error message which is something like this so it tells you that a software update is required to install mac os in a visual machine now there's a reason for this because there is a particular file that you're not running on your machine for this to work i you can see you have uh, the tabs that we have opened are not much but before this video i had thousands of tabs open well, well not thousands anyway but i have several tabs open where i read several articles and researches about this and at the end of it i was able to get a response to why this is happening so uh shout out to toru173 because he ex he briefly explained exactly why this is happening so there are, in this github there is a lot of discussion going on but it's not necessary so it's basically to download the ipws just like i explained and then you download the xcode 16. okay so this xcode 16 has a a package image a package that you need to install from it for you to be able to run the vm comfortably okay he also explained that in this place you can see that it's store 173 so shout out to him again for explaining this briefly for us and clearly for us so i'm going to also put a link in the description to where you can get this uh it's roughly the same but where you can get the the better version the stable version depending on what you want and of course where you can get the xcode from so from the website you search for xcode so currently you have the xcode beta 3 i installed the beta okay one me i installed the beta 3 but that's the 16.1 so i have the 16.2 so this works for me anyone can work for you from 16.1 and above so you download that okay once you have it downloaded uh i'm going to walk you through how you need to what exactly you need to install he explained that here where you need to have the x code you need to go through this particular file format for you to have it installed okay so what you need to do is i have it downloaded already here and once you extract it it's like this now mine is showing an icon here because i'm not uh on i'm not running on the sequoia version okay that's why it's showing this uh it's not compatible for the current version i'm running on on my machine okay but that's that doesn't matter because i'm not actually using the xcode for the xcode so just click on right click on it show package content once you open you go to content go to resources and packages so what you need to install is this mobile device.pkg so when you have this mobile device.pkg installed you your station is set out so you just head back to your parallels and then try running the macOS again of course it will go through the processes of installation 
every single thing you need and then you do your normal basic setup because it's of course it's a new device that you installed you do your basic uh setup and then you have your mac installed okay so once you're signed in you basically run your mac os as if it's a native mac os on the vm so if we go through the about us and check you can see that we we'll have a uh, apple visual machine one so it's showing the one because this is the first visual machine that we we'll have for mac os right we are running for windows 11 and for uh, linux that's ubuntu but this is the only one that we we'll have for mac os so if we run another one we'll have two on there we'll have the mac uh, m2 uh, max on here because this is exactly what i have on my machine so it actually uh, copies the same chip because that's exactly what it's running on and we allocated 8 gig memory for it for it to run on okay and then in the case where you also want to check out the apple intelligence feature or whatever it's also on here so i hope this solved your issue on there i'm actually going to put a link in the description to where you can get all these files that the the mac os the beta like i said uh the stable version and of course the x so don't forget to like the video share with your friends and of course subscribe to the channel i'll catch you next one cheers